One of the major ways you can save money is to use what you have and what I like to do every January is to do some spring cleaning and stock take what I've actually got in my cupboards. Um, I don't actually drive very far, or, well at the moment I'm not driving at all and so I rely on lifts. So last year, especially with the lockdown and getting lifts, if I ever got taken anywhere I'd pick up a few things to put in the cupboard. So I've managed to sort of stockpile a few things so I'm going to see exactly what I've got now um, so I know I don't have to buy them for a little while and save me some money. Can I just apologise right now, I'm actually recording this in my little utility room and um, the boiler's in here and our heating has just come on so my boiler is like rattling away in the background so I'm sorry about that. Okay so I had a, a clear out of my cleaning cupboard and the first thing I found was dishwasher tablets. Now these dishwasher tablets, I don't know if you can see with the light, um, these actually cost a pound um, from Savers and there's 18 tablets in a box so that's a brand new box that cost me a pound and I find them um, really good and so I've actually got two full boxes of those and then I also picked these up now I remember picking these up these were from Aldi's and they were on one of their um, deal things where they'd actually um, knock the price down so I'm pretty sure they were a pound less than they normally were so I think they were either $2.99 or $3.99 or even $3.49. I got them quite a long time ago now, um, last year sometime, when I went into Aldi's and I've put them in the back of the cupboard and that's 40 tablets in there. Um, so I've got quite a lot of dishwasher tablets. I try um, to only put things like cups, plates and cutlery, things like that in my dishwasher. Anything large like um, baking equipment or saucepans and stuff I actually wash by hand um, and I only put the dishwasher on once a day sometimes twice a day because I've actually got um, two of my children living with me now and our dishwasher is one of the smaller ones um, not a, like a full-size dishwasher but um, those were some dishwasher tablets and I also found some rinse aid this again was some savers and it's the same make as the dishwasher tablets and that was a pound a bottle so I've managed I've got two full bottles of those they were a pound each and then I'm in the middle of um just well it's going down fast of um, an Aldi one as well I'm not sure how much that was because I I bought that quite a long time ago um, I also found two bottles of dishwasher salt that was hiding in the back of the cupboard. Um, don't use as much salt as we used to in the dishwasher. I think the tablets seem to have changed now and a lot of them say you don't need salt at all. Um, but I do put some in now and again um, with my dishwasher to keep it cleaning um, at the best. So I don't need to buy dishwasher salt for quite a while. Um, I have no idea how long they've been in the cupboard um, but there we are, two full bags an Asda one and a co-op one I probably picked them up when they were on offer because that's kind of what I do and also for dishwashing I picked up um, two of these washing up liquids in Morrison's a couple of weeks ago when they were on uh, a half price deal they usually about 60 pence and they were down to it was either 33 or 35 I think it was 35 pence for those two and that is for 450 milliliters and then I also found at the back of the cupboard a Tesco washing up liquid obviously when I, I've been to Tesco we live rurally so it's actually an hour away so it's a two hour round trip to go to a Tesco for me so I don't go very often but I presume it was probably on a deal so I picked that up. I really like using Ecuva uh, washing liquid um, because we have a lot of allergies in the family and we've found that a lot of washing liquids really irritate our skin so I just stick with Ecuva even though it's quite pricey and um, I try and make it last like this is a 42 wash and I can get up to about 70 washes out of it um, so I and I try and buy it when it's on offer it's usually nine pound for a 42 wash around our area but this was actually on offer down to six pound in Morrison's so I grabbed that quick um, a couple of weeks ago and then this one was on offer again for six pounds six pounds seems to be the best it gets down to and this actually got 
when I did the Tesco run last year and I can remember I got this one in Tesco's again this is a 42 wash um, and when it goes down to £6 I grab it because that seems to be the best it gets the one I'm actually using at the moment which has been going for a while because I only use half a, a measurement this is a 28 wash and in our local co-op it's usually £6 and this last year was down to £4 so that's when I bought that so I tend to try and just buy this when it's on offer and make it last and that way I can use the product I want at a price I can afford and um, I also use bleach now these were um, a bargain I happened to get taken to home bargains um, by my daughter last year in between the lockdowns and this bleach was actually 39 pence in home bargains so I picked up a couple to put in the back of the cupboard and then this one here this was from B&M um, during last year's lockdown and I think this was about 79p. I don't usually pay that much for bleach but I usually get it either from Savers or if I get taken to B&M um, and get these. But this one I think was 79 or 89 pence but it was the only bleach we could get because um, there seemed to be a real shortage of it all. So I bought that one um, from B&M uh, last year. Um, I also from some from B and M uh, recently. Get your words out. I found this. This is um, a oven cleaning kit. I like to clean my oven every so often, and especially in January with spring cleaning. And I like the kits where you put the things in a bag and clean it. And they're usually about four pound. Well, this one was one ninety nine in B and M. It's a brand I haven't used before, so I will be trying that and seeing what it's like. And also for my oven. I got these from Morrison's, I found these in the back of the cupboard. These are about 45 pence and they're like the old Brillo pads but like an own brand and they're these steel wool pads and they're really good for cleaning the oven. Also in the back of my cleaning cupboard I found, I don't know how much these were, I don't know how long they've been there, um, could be a little while. I clean my cupboard out probably every six months so it's not too bad but um, I found these magic erasers and I also found a dishwasher or washing machine scaler. We get very hard water, we get a lot of lime scale. So I found lots of these um, multi-purpose scalers. And I also found a dishwasher cleaner, which is great because I was thinking I would have to buy one because I wanted to do it, clean out my dishwasher as part of my spring cleaning. And I also found, which I'm so pleased about, though I don't have to buy, find the money for right now, is we had a Mr. Muscle um, cleaner, um, drain cleaner, sink cleaner, whatever you want to call it, cleaner, um, which I like to do every so often, especially when I'm spring cleaning as well. So I was really, really pleased to find these in the cupboard. Um, so that's another few pence saved. The other couple of things I found in the back of my cupboards was window cleaner. I've got some windoline, which I'm pretty sure was on an offer in Wilco's when I went there last year, and some Mr. Muscle as well, which I'm pretty sure was a Wilco's deal. So I've got no excuse to have dirty windows this spring. Um, I've also got plenty of anti back. I found I've got a whole flash anti back um, in there as well, which I'm pretty sure was on offer either in B&M or Tesco's last year and I picked it up and put it in the back of the cupboard because I tend to buy a lot of this. This is Astonish Antibacterial Cleaner. It's a really big bottle and it's usually £1.99 or sometimes on offer for £1.50 in savers. I get most of my cleaning products in savers and I quite like this one um, so I use that a lot of the time but I know they were out and I saw that one um, last year because it was hard to get things. I've only got a little bit left of um, a sort of um, bleach cleaner spray cleaner so I will have to find some more of that this one I got for a pound on a, an offer so I need to find a flash with bleach on offer um, next time I go shopping and I also need some more floor cleaner again this was an offer I'm not sure how much but it was in B&M um, I'm all right for a little while but if I'm busy cleaning I will need to get some more floor cleaner um, so I shall look out for some deals. I found in the back of the cupboard, um, which is really handy, is some anti back wipes. These ones I got for, I think they were about uh, 59p in Home Bargains, but I didn't find them very good. They seem to dry out really quickly and they're quite small, if I remember rightly, which is why they probably got put to the back of the cupboard. But they'll still be quite handy um, around the house. Um, I like these Morrison's ones. I've got a full one of that. 
and a half a one. These were on offer for a pound last year, which is probably why I picked up a couple. And then I did find some Tesco ones, which I'd obviously got last year with the other Tesco things. Um, that I'm not sure how much they were, but that's a four pack. So I've got quite a lot of anti back wipes now to see me through. I also found quite a few pairs of rubber gloves. I like to um, wear rubber gloves when I'm cleaning because they do get have sensitive skin and um, I'm terrible for taking them off, bunging them in the cupboard and then I open another packet which is really bad but I do keep them so I've got plenty of rubber gloves now to see me through I would say most of the cleaning this year um, and I've also got a few cleaning cloths here um, which were just cheap dish cloths from Wilco's and I've also got some more of these. I find these wire wool um, scours really, really good. They last forever. I mean, you hardly have to change them. They just keep going and going. And they're really good for doing pots and pans and sinks and everything like that. And uh, so I use a lot of those. I don't actually use kitchen roll in the kitchen. I only use it really for cleaning um, and things like that, especially windows. So I was really pleased that I found a whole pack. I just usually look for the cheapest wherever I am if I need some. Um, so I've got a few Morrison's ones there and then this one I think was either Savers or Home Bargain, something like that. So I've got plenty of kitchen roll and I've also found I've got quite a few of these sponge and scrubby pad things left as well. So I'm pretty well stocked up um, without actually leaving the house. <laughs>